After you install the application, you will find two icons on your desktop. AI Server and AI Dental, start the AI Server by clicking on it. Once the server has started, minimize the window and click on AI Dental Application, you will find a login screen. Enter your login credentials if you have already registered. If not, register yourself to log into the application. Once you have logged in, go to Settings tab, enter the details of your clinic or hospital. Add a logo or the name you want to show in the reports. Change the settings of image processing to suit the needs. Network settings will show default settings. Do not change it. The details of the X-ray device are automatically taken when connected. If required, you can change the settings. Here, you can manage the details of your staff. Add the staff by entering all the required details. You can also delete or edit the staff. You can integrate DICOM server with this application by entering all the required details. In order to create a patient history, add all the required details of the patient. After adding, you can see the list of patients. Once you click on acquisition, it will show the X-ray parameters along with a teeth set. There is an option to choose if the patient is an adult or a child, now, select the tooth and click open. X-ray of the selected tooth is captured and is saved in the list of images under preview tab. Select the image you want to inspect. Once the image viewer is opened, you have options to edit it, you can zoom in and zoom out options here. The image can be rotated in either direction. Horizontal and vertical flip options are also available, here you have an image correction tool. Using which you can control the image brightness, contrast and gamma. You have various image filter options which you can adjust. For measuring the distance, you have a scale option. You can select the measuring unit. You can also measure the angle using this tool. Use the annotation tool to change the color of the lines by selecting the one you want to change. You will also find delete option here. When you press on this icon, a measuring scale will appear, select the unit for calibration here. You can turn on the flash lamp using this tool. Move your mouse anywhere in the image to see that portion illuminated. Similarly, when you choose magnifying tool, you will find the targeted portion is magnified for closer inspection. By using the sharpening tools, you will have a detailed view of the image. You can undo and redo the changes you have made. Once done, you can export the image to a desired folder in a format of your choice. You can view the information of the image when you click on this button. You can add instructions and comments. This image can be moved to other patient by clicking on the link here. Upload the image to PAX directly from here. You can view the different status of the image. From original to initial and end status of the image can be viewed. Using the image viewer tool, you can view multiple images in the same window. Add images to the window by selecting the ones you want to add. The images in the window can also be removed. Generate a report of your findings using the report generation tool. Simply drag the image and drop it in the report page. Add your inputs on the diagnosis. 
Once done, save the report. You can also open the saved report to view. In the report settings, you can control the details you want to show in the report. Print preview and print the report. You have an option to delete the current page, add multiple pages to the report. Add and edit the content of each page in the report. You can also generate a new report for the same patient. Visit our online store www.confidentonline.com to purchase genuine spares for your dental chair.